Snow has fallen, as promised, across the Alpine resorts overnight. By sunrise, we picked up about 10 centimetres of fresh snow. Take a look at the shots. It actually started snowing yesterday on the higher peaks. Mount Hoffman, for example, you can see the snow settling on the chairlift. Geez, that looks a bit cold. Those chairlifts, they're not the best place to be in cold, windy weather, I can guarantee you that. Now, the temperature just dropped overnight. We had a cold front moving through and... Yeah, most resorts picking up at least 10 centimetres, but the snow continues to fall. This is the key. The temperatures have dropped. So earlier this week, we were seeing a mixture of rain and snow. It wasn't really settling, but it was minus one at 6 a.m. at Mount Borbor. We had a temperature of minus two degrees at Mount Buller. Falls Creek and Mount Hotham, temperatures below minus two. Those resorts a couple of hundred metres higher than Borbor and Buller. And the New South Wales resorts also, temperatures dropping below freezing. Cabramara is below 1,500 metres. That's why it's a touch warmer, but point one is definitely cold enough for snow. And there are the snowflakes, they're coming down. And that snow, it came through with this band of cloud. This was a cold front, not a particularly strong front, did not bring severe weather to southeastern Australia, but it's exactly what we needed across our Alpine resorts because before this snow arrived, we had generally grass covering most of the slopes. Another cold front on the way, this area of cloud heading towards the South Australian coastline. Radar overnight, that was the front, this band of widespread precipitation which moved over the Alps, you can see just before midnight. But in between the fronts, we have a westerly airstream. Those westerlies are being lifted over the Alps and that's leading to precipitation. So there's still some activity on the radar. Light snow will continue through Thursday, but increasing tonight as another cold front moves through. Notice the isobars are stacked together. Gale force winds and blizzard conditions across the Alps for the next few days. Notice that precipitation continues over the southeast, even into Monday. And as a result, the snow will continue. In fact, it will get heavier. Let's have a look at the snow forecast. The white shading shows heavy snow. So it's light today, but heavy on Friday. Now, this is the powder zone line. When that's north of the Alps, it's definitely cold enough for snow. Well, it's well north of the Alps. There is no problem with the temperature. We could even see snow levels over the weekend down to 600 metres in southern New South Wales. And the heavy snow will continue through Saturday and through Sunday, perhaps even some light falls continuing into Monday. For Mount Buller, we're predicting 67 centimetres of fresh snow over the next week. Those maximum temperatures are at or even below freezing. It warms up slightly early next week. So a great week of fresh snow to set up the base for the season. For Falls Creek and Mount Hotham, we're forecasting 80 centimetres of fresh snow. Now that's on top of what we've already seen. So altogether, the weekly total will be more like 90 centimetres. Have a look at those maximum temperatures. Minus one Saturday, minus two Sunday. Be warned though, we have gale force winds. That's blizzard conditions, low visibility and very low wind chills. For Perisher and Treadbow forecasting 94 centimetres of fresh snow over the next week. Huge falls coming through Friday and Saturday, easing slightly on Sunday, but still some light snow, still possible on Monday and Tuesday.